guys, this is my review of the Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. And as you can see here, that is the shortcut. That's how it looks. It also comes with the audio director. So let's get started. When it opens, it prompts you to a menu screen where you can select the aspect ratio. Uh, a stupid update. You can select the aspect ratio of your project and <coughs> You can select between those two options. And then you can also select the full feature editor, the easy editor, or the slideshow creator. So, first off, I'm going to show you the slideshow creator. Alright, so this is how it looks. Um, you can import your... Uh, audio and video through there I'm not going to show too much of this so let's just exit that right now uh, when you exit one mode editor it automatically closes the pro program so you have to restart it again which might actually take a while to do let's just try that again Okay, so now let's enter the full feature editor. I won't show the e easy editor today. So as you can see here, it looks pretty f professional. And here you have different modes like capture, edit, produce, create disc. So and this section is the media section. So you can click there and you can import media such as audio and video. And the it also gives you sample. Uh, media sections there and there are filters to show um, what kind of media you're looking for from the sample media that it gives you then you have effects so it shows you as a flower template what kind of effects are available and there are many many effects available that actually are helpful in creating different types of movies my particular favorite is the fire fireworks and another favorite of mine it is probably the rain which actually makes it look like it's raining now this is the pip designer which means uh, you can design you can put like one of these pop-up designs in front of your video to make it look kind of cooler and to add some effects to it like that so that's actually pretty cool you get a lot of options for that also so that's nice there are many different designs that can enhance your video there this is a particle designer it's similar to the pip it's a design that you can put in the front of your uh, video to help enhance the effect that you're trying to convey. Oh. Now this is the title, which is like it's text that you can put on your video. And there are many, many different options here. A personal favorite of mine is the spy kind of design one. And then there's also the news design one which is cool too, breaking news, which is kind of useful. Then there is transition designer. So this offers a multitude of different transitions from one video clip to the next, which is also pretty useful for uh, basic and advanced video editing alike. So there are many, many different transitions such as crossfade, uh, A to B. This is uh, audio editor, which is a really basic version. This is uh, voiceover, so you can record a voiceover with this. And then the other two are chapters and subtitles, which we'll use later. So let's give it a try. Uh, let's put on the biker dude here. 
let's we can as you can see we can uh if it's a picture you can lower or raise the clips uh let's go to all right uh, let's go to library music oh no never mind let's just cancel that let's let's try let's try a video so that It'll make it seem better, so let's delete that. Aha, let's try the boats video. Now, what uh, something we can do is we can right click here and we can move it around. So, once we right click. So we have different options here for editing. It's pretty cool. We, once you right click, we can unlink the audio and video so that they're two separate modules now. You can delete one and you can keep the other. Oh, you can split the video from that thing over there, the split button. And yeah, so you can do many different things with videos. And also, you can modify the videos, like you can add chroma key for green screen videos here, you can add different emotions and um, blurs on the videos. Okay, so let's add some more stuff to this video. Let's add some effects to it. Why don't we make it a rainy day in our boat land here, and add some rain? So let's see how that looks. Nice, cool, it's raining in our boat land. Okay, so let's add some more stuff. Oh, that's the setting key. Alright, so let's let's see if we can add some uh Pips. So let's see what kind of pip we can add here. Um, let's do the most irrelevant one to the scene just to show what we're talking about. So let's put the movie scroll thing here. And now our boat land is obstructed by a movie scroll thing. But only for the amount of time that we put it in for. Is that a particle? Uh, let's add the blue weird thing. Oh, let's add the blue thing here. Actually, no, let's, let's, okay, fine, we'll add that. And then, so now it looks like the thing disappears and now the water turns blue it turns into some sort of weird thing and now uh... let's add some more pips some better particles here uh... let's add the nice sky thing oh yeah that 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 would, oh that looks nice so let's try that ooh nice That looks great. Now let's go to the titles and let's scroll through to see what we can add here. Uh, how about we add the breaking news title, wherever that is. Um, there it is. So let's put that there, and we can add stuff to it. We have to double click on the title in order to be able to edit it. And now the title editor comes up here. So now let's add 
the title, and naturally the title is going to be Boats. And the subtitles probably going to be Boats too. We can change the different types of titles, um, styles. We can also change the motion of the title, so the starting effects, and it shows you a preview of the starting effect there once you hover over it. So let's not do that now. Let's just save it as it is, and let's play. So now we have boats as the title, we have the particle, the pip. And we have the rain, I think. Yeah, I think we had the rain. Okay, so let's add a transition. Uh, let's add that buzzy blur transition thing over in the middle of the two uh, split of the same clips. So let's ah, it translate. Oh, cool. That's nice. And then let's play the whole thing. Okay, cool. So now we have all of those. We don't need to edit the audio right now. We don't need to do any voiceovers. So let's go straight to the chapters. And this is for when you're making a DVD. You would want to have like scene selection and chapters. So that's good. And then we come to subtitles. But since there's not much being said in this clip that we don't really need subtitles. But it's easy to add, as you can see. Okay, so now let's go to the production set. We can produce um, these videos in many different formats. As you can see here, we can produce it in audio format too. Uh, these are many different options for production that we have. And we can also produce in 3D. We can produce to a device. Like many different devices here, and we can produce online to Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, Vimeo, Yoku, and others. So. Now, if you go to the Create Disk page, which always takes some time to load, uh, We can create our DVD menus. So this is what a DVD menu default looks like. We can go to our menu preferences. And we can choose from many, many different templates of menus. So let's let's go with Broadway and let's apply that to all the pages. Which also takes a lot of time. Okay, now let's preview this which you can do with the DVD menus. Let's, let's preview what we have. It's kind of, it comes kind of broken when we're previewing it, but when you export it, it comes out a lot better. Okay, so let's click play. Because we only have one scene, so there's no scene selection. And this is our video. Alright guys, overall this is a nice software I feel, so I hope you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you next time.